Hi Taurus, and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general. Oops. <laughs> please keep in mind my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take with us and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So let's see what's going on with you guys today. Your first card is I think about you all the time. Okay, Taurus, what the fuck and what the fuck? New love, okay? This is somebody new here. You are all up in this person's field. They all up in their fields about you. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person um, is trying not to seem desperate, but they're desperate. They thirsty, okay? This person likes you, okay? Or Taurus, this can be you. You know, y'all like to, when y'all like somebody, y'all be like this fast. Nine of Pentacles, okay? I feel like this person is single and very independent. They may have their shit together. This person seems very, um, what is it called? Afro-eccentric or some shit. Like, they, they like their naturalness, their natural hair and natural nails. And um, I believe in clean dressing and not, you know, so revealing. This is like a real homely type of person. Magician. And I feel like you like it. You want to manifest something with this person, okay? The world card. I feel like you're getting fixed on this energy. Ooh, you grounding yourself. All right. In the near future, this is something that may take off for you. All right. Looks good so far. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Spirit, tell me more about this new love. What is this new love for Taurus? Hmm. Four of Wands. You like this person. You like this person a lot. This person may be like your equal or your twin flame. This person holds a mirror up to you. Yeah, I feel like you're scared to take this risk with this person. It could be a Leo, but I feel like you're really gonna go. You're really gonna go after it. Ten of Cups, because you see, yes, you see, this is somebody who you could spend the rest of your life with. I told you, Taurus, when y'all like somebody, it be like fast. Okay, this is fast, Taurus. Yeah, Five of Cups, though. Why is there a sense of sadness? Spirit, why is it five of cups here? Ace of cups. Okay. What about the ace of cups? The temperance. You may have somebody that's trying to come back from the past, but it's like you're almost sad because you don't want it anymore. And it's like this person is still trying to manifest it with you. You don't know how to tell people no either. That's the problem. You don't know how to put an ending. It's like you guys like to leave on a good foot with people. It's like I, you don't try to hurt somebody. And I feel like you know this person loves you. So you're trying not to hurt this person. But you don't want it. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. You you may decide to just step away from this completely. Like, no, nope, I'm not going to do it. Because <laughs> this person seems like they're going to be trying to put on a thick and cat. Be careful of dark magic or somebody doing spells on you the magician is somebody who does spells all right to try to get you to leave a situation somebody may be trying to get you to leave them or be stuck on them four swords in reverse yeah somebody who's trying to come out of this place of you guys not speaking all right so somebody may be trying to do some spell work on you be careful with that um taurus all right so what's in the near future Ooh. It's the two of cups, but the page of wands is in reverse. Why is the page of wands in reverse, spirit? The chariot. What? Why is the two of cups here, then? Mmm. 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 So you may be turning something down with somebody. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody who you thought you was going to be able to be with long term. You you don't want that, right? But then it's like this situation that you're in, you may, or the situation that you're about to be in, you don't trust it. And I just, let's see why. Why is the five of swords here? Hmm. Too many. Why is the five of swords here for the two of uh, cups? One more card. The Six of Cups. Because it's something from the past. 
could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There is something that you will not completely, either you're, this, I don't know. I almost get the energy of you being a, it's not you're afraid to move on from somebody. It's that you, again, going back to you not wanting to hurt this person, but not wanting them. There's something, someone from the past who keeps coming back in and they're fucking up your future connections. And it's so sad because the page of wands is in reverse. You don't even fucking want it. It's like, I don't even want to be bothered with this person. I feel like you guys haven't been speaking. They want to speak to you. This person, it feels left out in the cold. I feel like they're going to try to manipulate the situation, whether it be via spells or talking to you, making you feel bad, tugging at your emotional heart, um, because they know that you do love them and you don't want to hurt them. However, Taurus... Here's the part where your happiness comes into play. When you are in need of change for happiness, you have to be kind of cutthroat, which is crazy because Taurus, you are cutthroat, okay? You do do what makes you happy. But I don't know if this person, um, had a, you had a soft spot for this person um, or what the situation is. It's like they have a hold on you some type of way. And it's almost like, it's annoying, but you love this person, so you put up with it, or you can't completely walk away from it. All right, so let's see. Hmm. Let's see. What is the um, six minutes? Okay, I can still fuck around a little bit. Let's see what... Um, this person wants from you what how does this new person perceive you how does this new person feel about taurus how does this new person they feel like you're moving a bit fast it could be a gemini libra aquarius this person is like whoa there okay <laughs> but um yeah they feel like you're moving very fast but they also feel like you need to make a decision on what you want um, or if you, uh, drink, they, they would like you to kind of slow down on that too. Yeah. The chariot, this person wants to move forward with you. Look, now the page is in the upright. Um, this person would like, they want to, they want to know more. It's like, <laughs> this person's like, tell me more, tell me more. What else do you have for me? Okay. <laughs> yeah. The tower card. What the fuck is this tower card here? What is this person expecting to happen? See, now this person is having a tower moment with you. The seven of wands. This person has their guard up after something. Something may have happened. Will of fortune. It needed to happen between you two for something. Yeah, five of swords. I hope this person didn't find out that you had somebody else. Because that I feel like that might fuck up everything. What is this person's plans and actions towards Taurus? What is this person's plans and actions towards Taurus? What is this person plans and actions towards Taurus? Seven of Cups, okay? They want to clear up some type of confusion. They're trying to get to know you, but I feel like there's some conflict here because maybe they feel like you aren't giving them all honesty or you're breadcrumbing them. You're only letting them in a little bit. It's like you got the door cracked, but you're not opening it. So this person is starting to wonder if, if you're playing a game with them or what exactly is going on. Yeah, they they want the Ten of Cups with you. But they also feel like you need to heal from something or you or there's a need for you to be optimistic as well or be, get on the same page as them. So let's see what the outcome is. What is the outcome for Taurus? Outcome for Taurus and love. Outcome for Taurus. Outcome for Taurus and love. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. You coming in. Oops, oops, oops. You coming in trying to uh, open up, show your emotions to somebody. The Five of Cups keeps coming up though. Taurus, what is this pessimistic energy that you're in? The Ten of Pentacles, when you can have happiness with somebody. The Ace of Swords. It seems to me like you're happy as fuck that you have something new and you have something, I wanna say better, I'm sorry. So I don't know who would be the one watching this, whether it's the one that Taurus is avoid, avoiding or if this is the new person. But it seems to me like you're happy to move on to something better, but you are very sad about the fact that you do have to leave somebody behind. Okay, five of cups here. What is the advice? Oh, baby, baby, 
Don't let me down, I pray. Oh, pretty baby. Now that I found you, say, and let me love you. Mm -hmm. All right, your advice. Ace of Wands, go after the new. Three of Cups. See, I wanted to say that, but I didn't want to say that. Because I felt like you and this new person had history. So this, this person that you may be all emotional or wanting to open up and show some emotions towards, this could have been somebody who you were loosely involved with at some point in time, you know, not necessarily a fling. Maybe it didn't get off the ground. I feel like with the, the Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups, because the Three of Cups is a reconciliation. I feel like this is a, a, a spark with somebody who you might have already been seeing or somebody who you've seen before, okay? It's a reignition, re reignite, I don't know. It's you guys coming to fuck back together, okay? But it's not this, this person who you were with before because the Five of Cups is here is letting me know that you're letting go somebody else to have this reconciliation. Okay, so give me one more for advice because Spirit is telling you to go after this, whatever it is, because you're passionate as fuck about it. The, de the devil, wow. You're obsessive about this. Whatever this, this thing is, this person or this situation that you're going back to, you're very, very... Um, serious about it it's like you're almost obsessing this is something that you might have really wanted in the past and now you're really going to go after it this time it's like I, you might have even fucked this up in the past with this king of cups here not being emotionally open okay but i feel like you are now all right thank you guys